Hi, this is Anthony. Welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your SIM card, your micro SIM card, in your 3G iPad. So I will show you first on the original iPad, and then I will show you on the iPad 2. The SIM slots are in a little bit of a different location for each model, so I'll show you on both models. And then I also will show you how to deactivate your data service on your account as well. So let's start with the iPad 1. So on the lower left side, you will see a SIM slot right there. So you can either use a, a SIM tool, which you usually get an iPhone box or uh, you can get from AT&T. Or if you want, you can just open up a paper clip and use that as well. So I'm going to use the SIM tool. What you do is just push inside this little slot right here for the SIM, and it should just pop right open. And then you just remove the card like that. This is a micro SIM card, and it pops out really quick. And then you can reinsert your SIM slot as so. And now on the iPad 2, which is a little slimmer, so it is in the upper left side of the device, and it's pretty much the same exact function. So you just stick that in there, and just give it a good push. This one's a little bit trickier because the device is rounder in the back right there. You can feel a pop, pick it up, SIM card, micro SIM card, remove it, and then just pop it back in, like so. So now that you've removed your 3G uh, SIM card, micro SIM card from your iPad, you want to go into your data account and cancel your 3G service when you sell it back to Gazelle. So easy, go into settings, and then you will go under sell your data right here, and view account. It's going to ask you to log into your account. So right here, you're just going to put your email and your password in. So once you've logged in with your email and your password, you'll come to a screen that says has some information on your data plan, your status, your billing period. And then there's an option down here that says add data or change plan. You select that. So here are the options. You can actually change your actual data plan to get uh, different amounts of data. Or there's an option at the bottom for a cancel plan. Select cancel plan. And there's two options here. You can have cancel plan and delete account now or cancel plan and delete account later. So you do have two options just in case you want to reactivate your device at a later time. Uh, so we can get out of here, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna run almost into the identical layout for a Verizon iPad as well. So that's how you remove your SIM card and deactivate your 3G wireless data on the iPad and iPad 2. Thanks.